Hello guys and welcome to another Twisted League video. So I'm currently 29 hunter about to get 30 if I can catch one bird I'm going for 53 to catch chin chompas Which I want to try to use for ranged and slayer experience just to see how good they are and This is going to be 30 hunter right here I think I'm going to catch like 1,000 great chins and see how good that is pretty sure I can't use my arm now after this uh, 53 on aerial fishing very click intensive for quite a while actually the experience rates with five times is only 90k so yeah I had to be here actually for a while for 53 oh dude there's like no one here uh, that is really weird I thought there would be a bunch of people here but yeah I guess I'm lucky now Look at that, 1000 chinchompas caught and I'm just going to make a couple of steel knives because I want to tag all the smoke de or dust devils is what they're called and then after when they're all stacked I can throw my chinchompas. And of course I have to get the slayer assignment as well from Konar so let's go here and pick dust devils, how many? 95, that's actually not too many so that's going to be easy to complete. Okay, I found an empty world, so let's see what this is going to be like. I brought a bunch of prayer potions as well, because I will be forced to protect melee versus them. They do hit quite a lot, actually. I did uh, see how much they hit if I didn't have protect on, and it was a lot. So, let's see. 300, and I'm put on, on ranged and defense, by the way, because my defense is only 41, and I want to get it up. Look at this. The experience drops is like 1.2k per throw, if you add all the experience together. That one was like 1.5. 5k I think okay 42 defense already look at the top look at the defense bar oh my god that's like five throws for a level pretty much that is insane experience let's see how this is going to go been here for not very long at all and I get red d high van braces which is definitely an upgrade for my kit I guess it's not really that interesting, but oh, 68 Slayer as well. Uh, Mystic Earth Staff, I think it's only really an Alk, because I don't think it's going to be useful for anything, but yeah, it's uh, an interesting item, I guess, that I just wanted to show. So I've been here for a bit, now you can see I have around 18 kills left on the top left, and I just got 80 hit points, and I'm just going to move my uh, thing over here. You can see 500,000 ranged, 500,000 defense, and 130k Slayer. That's like 1 million combat experience per hour. And with 7 left on the task, which went extremely fast, I'm getting 60 defense, which is really, really nice. I gained, what, like, maybe 7 combat levels from all that, because defense gives more combat levels than other things. So, I'm 85 combat now, which is actually pretty respectable, I think. Before I go back and do another task, I have 56 prayer currently, and I have all these and sold heads. And I think the Bloodveld head is like 10k experience for one. So I put a counter up here so you will see how much experience I've got in total after I'm done with all the heads. So yeah, you can see on the counter I killed one Bloodveld and I got 10.4 thousand prayer experience. You can see here 20.8 and I got 57 prayer. So much experience from these insult heads. So I'm on my last one and I've got 178,000 experience and I'm going to be over 180k after this one. 184,063 prayer. That is 7 prayer levels. So now that I got 60 defense, I put it on only ranged and look at this. 1.3 million ranged experience per hour and 460k hit points. <laughs> That's nuts. Pretty huge milestone here coming in. This is going to be the last one before 99 I guess in ranged. 90 ranged. So only 9 more levels until a maxed combat stat. So I used all my chinchompas and I'm just using an MSB now to finish off the task. But I do think the experience is absolutely crazy. But the amount of time it takes to catch the chinchompas doesn't really make up for it. But it was definitely fun to use it for a while. So I mean like if you're doing hunter then catch them and then just use them for range anyways. But look I have some points to claim. 380 points that was mostly from hunter and slayer. So I'm currently working on the three master clues that I got and I actually got this step and then I completed it and I got it again back to back. So that's good to know that you can actually get the same step back to back. I've actually seen so many people struggle with this mage on YouTube videos but I'm actually at the state where I can pretty much just tank him. I'm just using sharks, standing here with my MSB shooting and I'm not really at risk of dying at all. I mean I do take damage but it's not really that substantial and I'm hitting really really consistently as well with my 90 range so happy I can do that at least and it's not a struggle every time I get a mage. So I did finish one master but for the second one I have to go down here which requires 100% Shazian favor so I'm going to do that right now. I'm currently at 49%. So I'm about to get 60 shades in favor. I went from 49.1 I think all the way to 60 on the Lizardman. Uh, I just thought that would be a good way to uh, get some Lizardman fangs as well for my necklace and I got 26 so 
26 charges to my necklace which is uh, zero right now so that's going to be very useful for the future now i just go to the battle ring or whatever it's called and get all the way to 100. okay so if you don't know how this works uh, there is five different soldiers tier 5 tier 4 tier 3 tier 2 and tier 1 and in the beginning we have 60 percent you can only fight the tier 1 and he will drop one piece of his gear at a time so you can see here and I get gloves now because I have the other ones. I think I miss boots now and then I have the full set. Uh, and you get uh, Shazian Reputation, 0.4% every single kill. When I get to 70, I can fight the tier 2. When I get to 80, I guess I can fight the tier 3. And then 90 for tier 4 and 100 tier 5. This is going to be 60 Shazian favor. And I actually went all the way from 50 all the way to 59 attack. So some gains there as well to be had. And while I'm here anyways, I thought I would just get the uh, tier 5 Shazian armor, so that is that done. And uh, we should be able to complete the step now, hopefully it's not going to be uh, one of those triple wizards. Okay, so this is a very long clip, it's like a 2 minute clip, and if you don't want to see it, you can skip forward 2 minutes. But look at this, it was the triple wizard, and I had a plan for it, because I kind of uh, thought... Protecting melee in the beginning so you don't get stabbed for like a 40 would be the best. And then I would kite the melee wizard and try to hit him as much as I possibly can. And if I could kill him then I am protecting from ranged and I have my dehydes on so I will be taking less damage from the major. And I just wanted to put the whole clip in here because it was actually so lucky that I managed to kill these. You will see in just a bit. But uh, I struggled really hard to kill the melee one and I only had lobsters as well. If I had sharks still in my bank from like the clues that I did earlier, it would have been really easier. But um, yeah, as you can see, I'm kiting the melee and what you can do actually is you can get the melee one stuck on one of those soldiers. That's what I did for the other ones that I did in the future. But yeah, you can see I have three lobsters left and now I'm fighting the... I'm trying to kill the major right now. Because if I kill that, I can protect from ranged. And look at my HP. So I have no more food, 29 HP. I'm praying I have 10 HP. And the major could hit me at any time. But because I have dehydes on, I was just extremely lucky. Also here, a lizard man starts attacking me. And I'm like, okay, well, I'm dead. I'm just going to surrender, kind of. I just uh, hoped I would be able to get some lucky hits in. 4 HP. I was thinking about maybe putting redemption on, but I would just get one shot anyways if I did that. So I managed to kill the major with this luck. And my prey runs out. I didn't even look. The ranger is hitting me. I put the prey ranged on again. The lizard is attacking me. I just keep kiting. I have 5 HP. I'm like, oh, I need to put the rapid heal on and my defense prayer. Keep kiting the lizard man all this time. I have 5 HP, I could have get KO, KO'd any time by that, uh, by, during this fight in general, I mean, it's, it was just insane. Uh, and the second time, as I said, uh, that I did this, I just managed to get the melee stuck on one of the soldiers by pure luck, so that was obviously way easier, but this was probably the most intense moment I've ever had. But if you get these wizards in a step where there are staircases close to them, you can just climb up them after spawning them and they will be non-aggressive. Not really a huge thing, but 91 range and I'm pretty close to being done with all the three masters. So this is going to be really satisfying. I, I don't really think there's anything amazing that I can get. Like third age obviously would be really good. Oh, of course, I have to unlock the mimic as well. That would be really cool to do. Um, but yeah, let's see the first one. Okay, so all these dragon items I can't actually use. So all of this is going to be Alex. And the Lumberyard Teleports obviously I can't use. Okay, this is actually pretty good for a Master Clue for me on Seiya. A lot of runes and the Limpert Roots for Herbal Experience. Definitely better than the first one. And uh, let's see the last one. <laughs> the Alkyboss is... Uh, whoa, that's a 600k Master. But as you can see... I can't actually equip any of the items, so all of this is just going to Alex, but that's okay, Masters, I guess. I mean, it is kind of satisfying to just alk these items, like, alking dragon items like this is pretty nice in the Twisted League. 30k for the dragon maces, and how much is it for the D-Long? 60k, and the dragon halberd is insane amount, it's 150k, I think, yeah, so a lot of money from that. Bit of a milestone, I guess, hit 70 Slayer, only 15 more levels to go until the Abyss of Demons, which is quite a way there, but if I get the double experience relic, that will be fast. So I really, really want to work towards the last relic to get that double experience, so I am going to force myself 
to do tithe farm. I'm not going to do all of it in this video, but at least a bit of it. So I can now use the second seed. And yes, I had never done this before and I understand why people despise it now. It is so boring and tedious, but yeah, that's the second seed. It takes like a billion years to get 100 of a fruit. And uh, sure, the experience is good, but this 100,000 experience that I got now, yeah, that took 10 years. So for some points, I'm going to get 64 thieving. There we go. I had already 63, so it was really fast. And now I'm going to get 75 on stone chests for the gem stall thieve. Okay, so I'm at the stone chests and I've done a few levels. I have got pretty decent amount of fangs. No Serix talisman yet. I already have one, but I obviously I want to duplicate for 100 teleports more, which is going to be really, really useful when I'm getting into construction because then I can teleport to home and then use the Serix talisman back again to my bank and get really, really fast construction experience. But yeah, that's going to do it for this video. If you don't know, by the way, why I want 75 thieving to thieve the gem stall, it gives 250 points, crazy amounts of points. And that is exactly what I want right now. I need, let's see if I can claim any, I can't. Okay, so I need 1,250 points left to the last relic and I am going to grind hard to unlock that so we can have it in the early stages of the next video, hopefully. So yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy watching the video. Uh, if you did like it, then please leave a like. That's what I'm supposed to say. And if you want to see more of my content, then remember to subscribe. Have a good one, guys.